Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Today I'm going to be making a delicious dish, pollo a la Coca-Cola. Now, many of you might know it as Coca-Cola chicken. Either way, it's delicious and I'm going to share it with you. So let's get started. So I have my chicken that I just took out of the refrigerator and it's ready to go. Now I've got four chicken thighs and I've got two chicken legs. Now, if any of you are familiar with my cooking, you know that I usually remove the little bone at the end of the leg. I just don't like it, but you can leave it on if you like. So I have removed the skin off of the chicken, but I've left a few little pieces hanging on like this, you know, only because I do want it to add just a little bit of the taste and we really don't want a very greasy dish. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put my chicken into this bowl, just like this. You want to have nice clean hands. And I'm going to add some soy sauce to it. About half a tablespoon. Just, just enough so that you can make sure that it's all nicely coated. Just like this. And this is a fantastic marinade. And it tenderizes the chicken and gives it a delicious flavor. And then you don't have to use much salt because it does have some salt in it already. Just like this, as you can see. See? Make sure that it's all nicely coated. Then I'm going to cover it up. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to get everything else ready for our next step. So I've got my chicken that has been marinating in the refrigerator and it's nice and ready to go. I'm gonna be using a cast iron. I like to fry my chicken here. I'm gonna be frying my chicken on medium high heat. So I'm gonna add some olive oil in here. Just a nice amount, because I won't be using all that oil. I just want it to fry. Wait till it gets nice and hot. Now that my oil is nice and hot, I'm going to put my chicken in there. Just like that. And I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to move it for about four minutes because I want it to get a real nice sear and a real nice crust. And if you move it around or flip it over, before it's ready to be flipped over, it will stick to your pan. Okay? So my chicken has been frying like this for about four minutes. As you can see, it's not having a hard sizzle anymore. That means it's ready to be turned. See that? And it won't stick on you because it was ready to be turned. If you turn it before it's supposed to be, it'll stick on you. So you have to give it enough time to, to fry and then to let, go, let loose. So now I'm gonna fry it like that, about four and a half minutes. So my chicken is ready. See the beautiful color that it's got? That's the sear I wanted it to have. I usually leave it on about four minutes, no more than about four and a half minutes on each side. like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set it aside right here for just a little bit. I'm going to clean up my area and get started for the next step. So I went ahead and put in about a tablespoon and a half of that grease that I had in the other pan from frying the chicken. And in here I've got about a fourth of a medium onion. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my chopped onions in here. And I want to saute them until they crystallize. Like that. I'm going to be using two garlic cloves and I'm going to be using some ginger root. Now, if you're not familiar with a ginger root, I'm sure you've been to the grocery store and seen these before. 
Now, this is not something that I use very often, but in this dish, it is delicious. It really is. So, I went ahead and just peeled a piece of it, and I'm going to add it into my dish, but I just wanted to show it to you. It adds a fantastic taste. Now that my onions are about as sautéed as I want them to be right now, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. Now I've got two garlic cloves about this size. They're big garlic cloves. And I'm going to go ahead and add them in here. I want them to be really nice and fine. So that's why I'm going to use a micro blade. But if you want, you can go ahead and just, you can just mince them and put them in like that. And that's good. See? I'm going to go ahead and add some ginger root. It's very peppery, very pungent, and has a fantastic taste. Just like that. Then I'm going to stir it around. And you don't want it to burn. Okay, it's been about a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and add my ketchup. I've got three-fourths of a cup of ketchup, and the ketchup is just going to give it such a good taste. I'm going to stir this around. Let it all come together really quick like that. Now I've got some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add about a tablespoon. About like that. That's about a tablespoon. I'm going to stir it around. Let those flavors come together like that. Now, I've got 16 ounces of Coca-Cola. I use the small cans like this. And I'm going to go ahead and add it. Just like that. Bring it in together. Oh my gosh, it already smells so good. I've got some pepper flakes here. I'm going to add some pepper flakes so that it'll give it a real nice little kick so that it can be a little spicy, not too much. Stir that in together like that. I'm going to bring up my heat. I want it to come up to a boil. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of dry mustard. like that. Stir it up really nice. So it's coming up to a boil. As you can see, it smells wonderful. The ketchup and the ginger with the Worcestershire sauce in there and the soy sauce and all that. So now that it's come up to a nice rolling boil, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken in there. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of pepper. You can add as much as you want. little bit of salt. Soy sauce has a little salt in there already, but I like to add just a little bit, like that. Give it a nice stir. Let it all come in together really nicely like this. Now that it has come up to a real nice boil like this, I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to cover it up. And then I will check it in a few minutes. Now what we want it to do is we want that Coca-Cola to come down and caramelize. That's the whole reason why we add the whole Coca-Cola in there. It's been 20 minutes and I just wanted to show you what it looks like right now. As you can see it's starting to thicken up a little bit and that's exactly what we want it to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over like this just to make sure that they're all cooked nice and evenly. And so what's happening is, 
that the Coca-Cola is starting to caramelize. And that's exactly what we want. Now, the reason we want it to caramelize is because we want that real pretty glaze on there. That's why I do not add any flour or any cornstarch or anything to thicken it. Because the Coca-Cola can do it all by itself. So I'm going to leave it on there for just a little bit more. I wanted you to see what this looks like. It's already starting to boil. It's a tight, tighter boil. So I know that it's getting very close to the caramelization point that I want it to be. And I usually know when it's ready because it starts to get darker and darker. Right now it still has a little bit too much of the brown. It starts to get a little bit darker and that's the point that we want it to be. So I'm going to leave it in there a little bit longer. So my chicken is almost ready. As you can see, I'm keeping a real close eye on it because it's starting to caramelize just really, really nicely and it's starting to get real nice and dark. And that's what I'm after. So you don't want to leave it alone at this point. It's Right now it's been on about 43 minutes and you don't want to leave it alone because you don't want it to burn. So my dish is ready. I'm going to turn off the heat. It's been exactly about 46 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it off the heat like this. And I'm going to get ready to serve. I made myself some Mexican white rice. And I just think it goes so perfect with Mexican white rice. See how beautiful the glazing on this chicken looks? See? I'm going to get a little bit of this glaze, just like that. So this is my pollo a la Coca-Cola, or as you may know it, chicken Coca-Cola. It's very hot. So I'm going to give it a minute before I cut into it. You know, have you ever gone to eat at the Chinese restaurant? It reminds me of that, but when you go eat at the Chinese restaurant and that orange chicken and the general chow chicken, you know, it's got that very delicious glaze on top. This is very similar to that. It's savory sweet. You know, it's spicy, salty with a little sweet. So just to give you an idea of what it tastes like. Oh my gosh. You know guys, trust me on this one. Do it exactly as I did. And you're going to thank me so much for it. It's absolutely delicious. Now, I like to fix it with my Mexican white rice, but you can fix it with anything that you like, a good pasta or rice, any style. Sometimes I steam some broccoli on the side or any vegetable that you like, and it just goes so well with it together. And the taste is just unbelievable. Mmm. So this is my chicken Coca-Cola, pollo a la Coca-Cola. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, send me a comment, tell me what you think, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you very much. Mm.